Well, uh, they won't all be like that. That'd be my first uh, opening statement to our fantastic fans. Uh, they won't all be like that. That was uh, we spoke uh, to our guys last week about uh, it, this may be. You know, we weren't sure. We said this may be one of the most unique games they would ever play in. And I think these guys will tell you it probably ranks up there as one of the most unique games I've ever played in. You know, I got I got great respect for Duger. Uh, Duger Rockham, He's I, I coached against him. I've got great respect. He's trying to uh, implement his style right now. And I thought his kids played really hard. Um, and I know he's going to do a fantastic job there at Citadel. I really, I really do. He's, he's obviously in a rebuild mode uh, with that group right now. So uh, we wish them well. I think that our guys played with good purpose. I think they understand that this game uh, was unique and that uh, we uh, have, a, have a, long, a long way to go and a lot to improve on. Just think with, with these two guys right here, uh, and you saw it in the days leading up to uh, our game. They really do, you know. You know, you know how your team is when you see them in practice, and they prepare the right way. And they're certainly led by these two guys. Well, uh, I thought that question might come up, Sean. I, we right now um, we're still looking at whether it's best to venture Sean or not. So we did not want to play him, and I've talked to his mom and dad about if he goes in, it's going to be in those minutes where we know for a fact that uh, that we need him in that moment. So, um, you know, we're still kind of, we anticipate that we will uh, use Sean this year, but I just didn't want in that situation to burn a potential venture. How do you balance when it's 50 point lead? You got Roosevelt, Travis out there, I think Kelvin was out at that point. How do you balance, like, it's early in the season, we want to get guys to work, right? But, first of all, Jones goes out of his knee and 50 point ball out. I'm going to be one of them. Yeah, you know, I have some people upset with me. Well, I, I told Rose he was probably done. And he gave me that look that he likes to give me when I take him out of games. He was already out. So uh, he said, "One more. Can I get one more run here?" So um, I said, "Let's let's we'll, we'll put him back in one more time." Um, but I we weren't able to really work on our execution, Tom, and that made it uh, somewhat challenging because you, you want to work on that. We've got a lot of areas to improve it in terms of our execution uh, because they just they didn't let us run the way they played. So. That was hard, but uh, we did want our guys to play uh, some extended minutes because uh, we still need to get better shape. You kind of alluded to that. Is it potential for a game like this even to harm you? Is it so unlike anything you do? You really actually took so many layups and yeah. you really didn't yeah. really do that many odd things. I, I think there are people, David, who, who would um, suggest that. You might, you know, we'll see. It depends on the approach of your guys. I think if you guys understand this was a probably once in a lifetime type of a game, and you're not going to get that many layups, and that we're going to have to execute the half court, and we're going to have to do things better. Uh, the good thing is, I think we have a mature enough group that they know how unique this was, and they know that it's certainly not going to be this easy uh, on Thursday against Missouri State. What did you think, Roosevelt? Do you think this was? You knew it was going to be a weird game, so is something like this going to be good or bad for the Bulldogs heading to Puerto Rico? Well, I guess we just got to stay even kill and turn the good and take the value we did during the game. So we got to prep for Missouri State. We know they're going to be a very good team. So all the teams we're going to have some prepare for the game. We just got to come out and play hard for 40 minutes. That to David's point, anyone in particular, is this a kind of game, with all due respect to your point, where you really don't even bother looking back? even have the film just because of how unique it was, as you said yourself, I mean, would you really even go back to this and all the season and say, this is what we did well in this game because we did so many things so well? I think we'll take a few key points about us sharing the ball and um, handling some of the pressure. But yeah, you know, I think we'll probably move on to what we have uh, these next couple of days, and that is getting better and 
then we get into prep for Missouri City. So I, I don't know if we'll spend a whole lot of time on this. Oh, no, I thought you might give up 90 points and, and, and come in your uh, chiding the team for the defense, but really they didn't. I mean, what did you think of the defense? Obviously it was a strength. What do you think of Bob? Bob Rogers? I thought it was good. I thought it was good in spots. I thought they, I thought the week to prepare for them helped us. I don't know if these guys would agree or not because we did spend some extended time uh, on the Citadel because they do play unique. So I thought our guys did a pretty good job with that. And they know, like I heard one of these guys say yesterday, like they know that we have to get better defensively. Like they, they know that. So um, I think in spots it was good, and I think the zone helped us in good spots too. Good. Yeah, well, uh, they obviously wanted to push the pace for the outset of the press and all that. Did you guys feel like maybe we want to slow this down? I mean, did you want to get a tracking with them or did you want to slow the pace down but there were wider layups and wider than threes in transition? Um, yeah, I, I don't know if we necessarily want to slow it down, but I think that we really want to take care of the ball just in a general sense as well as just taking the best shot of our team. Um, I think, I think that the looks that they gave us, there was no need to try to slow it down and get a better one because they're giving us kind of the best look that we could get. Now, Kelly, going into this game, I know you needed 29 to pass uh, Bobby on the 13th all time list. Uh, were you kind of disappointed when you didn't get a chance to go for that 29? And uh, what, what would it mean to you to pass in the end of the bottom one? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not disappointed at all. I, I think that, um, you know, the legend that he is, uh, I, I had a chance to meet him. He's, you know, everybody talks about him, you know, even when he played so many years ago. So it's, it's quite an honor to be in the same, you know, sentence as him. And uh, I'm very blessed to be in this position. So. Three other people are What's the last time you ever played anything like this? Uh, I've never played anything like this, probably. We played open gym, it's good layup, so it's probably the best call by some of these. That's not encouraging to know what's going on. What about you, Callum? Have you ever participated in a game like this? Not, not even close. I would say the closest thing would maybe be like an AAU game when you're up great amount. It starts to get a little sloppy, but not, not anything. Now, once you guys got that comfortable lead, then this is where it ended up there. Uh, that comfortable lead and the guys who really never part of the court, the un unsung heroes, they get on the court, they get a chance to play. What's it like to sit on the bench and kind of just be a fan of theirs for once and cheer them on and root them on? Because I mean, they don't part of the court. That would be nice to talk to them. It's great because nobody else sees the work they do to practice to prep us to play the game. So when they get out there, they can show what they do and we get to cheer them on just like they cheer us on every day. So it's great to see the guys there play, have fun, play good. So I like to go there. I think I think along with Rose's point, um, they're always cheering us on. It's, it's nice to kind of get back to your teammates. It's, it's hard to work back. Yeah, I, I would tell you this about Trey Pettis and Stephen Bennett and Keith and Savage who's sitting out. Uh, I mean, some other scout team guys. Uh, those guys take their scout team responsibilities really seriously, and they. They, do a, they did an unbelievable job this week. Uh, we talked about everybody having a role. What Rose mentioned right there, I mean, there's great value in what those guys bring in preparing us for the next opponent. So it obviously makes us happy when we have a chance to see those guys get on the field. Were you surprised by any of your guys? Uh, Jackson put up like a 19 I was surprised Tyler cut that the one hand and probably uh, <laughs> <laughs> might have used a chest that I was a little surprised he threw it. Um, I, I I don't know that there's anything that really surprised me other than um, you know, no, I I I like to shoot the ball better, but uh, I don't know we've got great books and took the team's best shot at the time. So and what did you shoot like sixty four percent? Sixty four percent. So where, so where would you like to see the improvement that you're going to offer? I just think, I think we need to continue to, I mean, because if you have guys shoot, shoot uh, you know, make more threes, I'd like to see that. So I think that will happen, just a matter of time. Anything else, guys?
Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks.